What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another FS19 video and in today's video we are back here on the USA Ravenport map. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of cow or not cows. Oh horses. Let me show you guys really quick Animal pens So you got dog house you got chicken coop chicken coop a large chicken coop pasture bigger one another horse paddock larger horse paddock pig enclosure large one sheep large one and there you go that's what we got what we're gonna be doing for today though is where's that i'm blind there we go the horse paddock actually what do i'm not sure what horses give you in terms of profits i guess let me check Maybe horses are just like a you breed them type of thing and you sell them. Let's check it out though. And we're also going to be doing some contracting later. Uh, 25 acres. That's a pretty big one. Pretty big one. Okay, so horses. Right here. Can be trained and then sold off for a profit. You can own up to 16 horses, which is his own name and fitness level. The higher the fitness level, the higher the value. Raise your fitness level by riding them. When you buy a horse, it is given name automatically. You can choose the name of the animal menu. All right. Sounds good to me. So, we're going to go $50,000 horse paddock. And this is going to cost us an arm and a leg. Why can I not see this? Oh, let me see. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Now, I was looking for this menu up here to pop up, but it wasn't popping up. So $300,000 is how much it's wanting us. And it's really uneven ground, too. Let me see what we have purchased for land here. Only these two. All right. Well, I'm honestly perfectly fine demoing all of Field 17. But I'll see if I can manage to save it anywhere. Can't be deformed here. This field over here is just way too... This slope's way too far down, so we can't really use that. So it looks like our best bet is going to be over here. We'll probably deform all this area and it'll look weird. Yeah. Alright, let's check out what it looks like now. So it's flat. Oh, jeez. It's got a super steep hill right here. That's why one of my biggest issues with this game is the whole flattening system. It just makes everything super, super steep everywhere. And like it gives you these weird cutouts here, which aren't really needed. You could easily smooth this along. But anyways, enough of that. Uh, looks like it didn't really cut into too much of our wheat here. Or yeah, it's our wheat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now that we got the horse pack down, we need horses. Uh, but horses take oats and hay. We do not have any of that. So we should probably start planting oats, which is... Let me find it. Maybe you don't actually... I don't know. Maybe you don't grow oats. I don't remember. All right. Anyways, let's just go. And you guys think we should go buy some animals? I think we should go buy some animals. Animal transport. Western one, just two two pieces. So this is a uh, a horse trailer. So pickups. Um, let's choose one of these. Sixteen K. What color? So we have a blue truck. How about dark gray, dark gray trailer? Ooh, trailer. Oh, let's do this. This isn't black, is it? No, it's onyx. I like the color though. We're gonna pick up one of these, and then we can just drive over and pick one of them up. So animal, water, a forge mixer. Finally, we got another forge mixer. All right. 
Take straw bales and use stuff to cover the ground of the calf stable. Yep, I remember hearing about those. <clears throat> oh, excuse me there. Another one. Bigger transport liquid. Finally, they actually start putting more stuff to transport uh, water with or liquids with in general because what they had going on before was not quite enough. All right. There we go. So now we got the... So we got the paddock built. We got... Something to transport them. So we're going to go buy them now. I'm going to reset this. There we go. Oh, I still have that small plow. I just realized. <laughs> we can probably go uh, trash that one really quick. Let me... That's the big one. Is it leased? Yep, it's leased. Return. Yep. There we go. Now I don't have to pay leasing, leasing fees on that. Alrighty, now we go to the animal dealer. So the animal dealer is on our way. Let me see here. Yep, so if we just head up this road like we usually go back to our place, we take a, we take a right. That's what we do. Alright, so we're going to go grab two horses now. And I don't know what we're going to do. Grab them, get them set up, make sure they're, uh, what do you, what will you say? I don't know, make them, make sure they're fed pretty much is what I'm going to do. And then we'll, after that, after we make sure they're not going to like die, cause I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure they would probably die if you don't have food cause like cows and all of them do. So we'll make sure we got all of them set up and good to go. And then we'll start training them cause I don't want to train them and then lose everything and lose all the progress on it. Is this the loading spot? Oh, whoa. I did not realize you could buy any color you wanted. That is awesome. That is so cool. Okay, so you got horses starting from gray. So this is your gray horse. You got your P Pinto horse, which is, I really like that one. Palminos, chestnuts, bays. The straight black horse, seal brown, and it's done. We are definitely going to go with the Pinto. Um, we're going to do two? Yup. Let me see here. Do I, can I see him? Oh, we can. That's awesome. So we got two Pintos in the back there. Should we do... Straps? Oh, that's straps for us. All right. Now, let's go drop this off at our at our horse paddock. I should probably figure out where you can buy oats and hay. I know you can buy hay bales. Here, let's pull over to the side of the road really quick and check this out. Let's see, bales. You can buy hay. Round bale hay or... Okay. That's not too bad. I'll probably just go buy it. Uh, bale thing of hay and use the truck and just throw it in the back there and just roll with that for now until we actually start cutting our own Do we have a pallet of oats anywhere by chance maybe a big bag oh big bag there we are that's what we're looking for okay yeah yeah, yeah. we can do this yeah we can do this i mean i was pretty worried that uh that we wouldn't be able to i don't know for some reason i was just thinking i was gonna mess it up somehow all right so we got our two horses with us. We got our two Pintos with us. We're going to go drop these two off. Then we're going to go grab all the necessary supplies. We're going to go get bales of hay and bags of oats. And then we're going to buy ourselves a liquid transport trailer. And we're going to go fill it up with water, bring that back, fill them up. And then I think they should be good. I just realized there is an animal dialogue menu. We'll have to get these guys in the pens first to see what it looks like. I have not seen it yet. Uh, maybe some of you guys have seen it, but I have not seen it yet. Um, this is a big old dip there. Yeah, see, now it's like super dangerous to drive around this area because there's all these areas flattened and just straight cut out everywhere you go, which really is not good. Alright. There we go. We'll unfold them. 
And we will transfer them in here. We got Xavier and Duke. Pretty sick names. All right, look at him. Oh, I'm on Xavier. Oh, this is awesome. And I know if you take them out of the pen, you can make them go faster. I've seen that done already. So basically what you need to do is ride them more and then they will, uh, yep, then they'll increase. Let's see who do we got here. Xavier, Duke. Let's see here. A horse's value determined by its fitness, health, and cleanliness. They should be ridden every day to increase their fitness. Horses require straw for clean bedding and water and food to stay healthy. Periodically, they need to be brushed and cleaned. Feed them a mix of foods for this following. Okay. So we also need to do water or straw, not water and straw. We also need to do straw. All right. So that makes sense. Let me just get down this hill here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna get everything back over there by the uh, by the shop. We're gonna pick up everything we need and we're gonna head on back. All right, everybody. So we picked up our uh, oat big bag there. Let me just go back to here. Now we just need to get our animal transport liquid tank. These ones can also transport milk. You know, we'll just pick up one of these instead. Oh, look at that. Let's buy it. Let's do black. Black's a good color. Yep, we'll buy it. All right, so now we got our, our liquid transport tank and we got our bag of oats here. Uh, let me see. I got to swing it around here. All right, we're going to load the bag of oats um, or bag slash pallet, whatever you want to call it, into the uh, back of our truck here. I can manage to do it without absolutely destroying the side of this Veltra here. There we go. Oh, we gotta line it up perfect. There we go. All right, there's that. And now we'll back the truck up to it. The lizard pickle truck has actually come in very handy for us, being as we don't have a trailer quite yet. And we don't want to do a semi on a, or a low bed because we don't really have a need for it quite yet. It would have helped though. Definitely would have helped. Let me see here. I'm just going to drop it in. Alright, looks like it held on well. Uh, now we're going to buy ourselves a bale of hay. We'll do a square one for now. Where'd she go? Okay, so I was thinking we would be able to set this bale of hay on here. But I have a pallet fork, and I'm not sure if I can do it with a pallet fork. We'll see if we can stab these with a pallet fork. I'm not keeping my hopes up, though, because I'm not sure. Looks like it's wide enough, though. All right, we'll line this one up perfect. And we got it. Look at that. That was like... Not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but that was pretty perfect. I didn't think it would actually turn out that easy. All right, so... Now, if we just set it on the truck slash tailgate... So we're gonna have to go with the bed of the truck and the tailgate together. Hopefully the straps are large enough. Oh, that was close. Oh man, the truck is squatting so, so incredibly deep here. I would try and move the tailgate in but I'm not sure if I move it in or not, if that'll like mess with the uh, the straw bale or the hay bale there. So we'll wait on that. Um, should we tempt it? Should we see how much horsepower this 2014 has in it? 
Oh, look at that. We got a bag of oats in the back. We got a giant hay bale, which is... Those two alone are probably totaling a couple hundred pounds easy. That oats probably 200 pounds. Hay bale's probably another 150, 200 pounds, I think. I really don't know how much those weigh. Enough to have a... What is this guy doing here? Enough to have a uh, tra tractor have to pick him up. And we're pulling this lizard water tank. What is happening? All right. This train is, like, blocking us. Is he going to move? Am I going to have to move him? Hey there, buddy. Get going. I got I got stuff to do. Really? He's not even going to move? This is, like, real life for me. Every day, I get stuck waiting for a train to pass by train tracks by where I live. This happens every day. Now it's happening in the game, too. Oh, there we go. Is this going to move, or are we going to sit here? <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going around the train tracks. Never do this. Never do this. Alrighty. Man, that was a weird, weird thing to happen. I don't know why. All right, so we're going to go back. We're going to drop these off, and then we'll also have to make a run. Let me check this really quick. For, yeah. What the? Bale straw wheat. It tells us exactly what kind it is. We will make a run for some wheat, or we could just wait and harvest a little bit that we have planted. I might do that, actually. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll go drop this stuff off. So I'll see you guys right back at the barn. All right, everybody. I went back for a second pickup. Oh, this truck is not a... Uh... I'll show you guys what I got going on here. The truck is not very happy. I got two large bales uh, thrown in the rear. <laughs> so it's uh, bottom in the uh, tailgate out. And it's looking, it's making the truck shake pretty bad. So... I'd probably, uh, I'm gonna keep the, keep the speed around 35 here, because anything more than 35 and I'm way too out of control for me to drive, oh my gosh, this is so funny, oh no, um, okay, so we're gonna drive back, we're gonna drop these off, um, then we should be good on straw, hay, oats i got some oats dropped off i only dropped off one pallet's worth of oats which is like a thousand or close to a thousand then we have to go find ourselves a uh a water tower because we don't have a water tower on our farm i just realized and i have not seen one in the map yet except for i did see uh a, a water tower from train station i think is where it was at it was over at train station but I think there's probably water towers just chilling around the map. So I'm going to go find one of those and uh, snack some water from that. Or I might actually just drive. No, no. Let's just save some time, some effort, some money. Let's just go pull it out of a river because it's not going to be too much more difficult. And I enjoy driving around in this truck right now. Oh, geez. Come on. Make it up. So, yeah, this is what we got going on right now in the uh, tailgate. So... Slightly unrealistic, guys. I know, I know. Probably wouldn't be able to do this in real life. But I don't really have any better way to transport these. But look at this. All I got to do is just back it up right here. That took that one. And Shaw's on the other side, I'm pretty sure. They just need some sort of bedding to use. I think, it's, I think it's this one right here. I don't know what else or where else it would be. Oh, yeah, you can close the tailgate right in that. All right, we'll just drop it here. And doesn't look like this is the spot. <laughs> oh, no. It was probably over there by the other stuff. Uh, it's fine. We can bring back the, uh, the front loader, Valtra, and we can just use that. Let me just get that out of here. All right, well, that's fine for now. It's not too big of a deal. Let me show you guys. You see 
Hay is maxed out now. Oats are only at a thousand, so we could get them quite a bit more oats. Um, I think what we're gonna do though is we're just gonna plant oats instead of having to, uh, like, buy them every time. I guess is what I'd say. So we're not gonna buy them every time. We're just gonna end up growing them on our own because, uh oh, I didn't realize I trampled down and withered some of our plants on accident. But yeah, we're gonna buy them because it's not worth our uh, time and effort to have to go through every time. We can maybe haul two at a time in in the lizard pickup, but I don't think we're going to. So we'll just have to uh, wait a minute and actually go through. Where's our way down from here? Oh, there it is. We'll just go through, and we will plant it, and we'll do it that way. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some water here. Let me see if I can get down here without getting no without flipping out everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna go grab some water really quick, guys, and then I'll see you guys back at the barn. And we're going to do some trotting, some uh, riding around. We're going to be building some some of the, uh, what, did, what, did they, what did they call it? The uh, fitness. We're going to be building up some of the horse's fitness. We're going to get some of that daily riding time in that we have to get in every day um, to maximize our profits and to make the horse worth, I don't know, what the horse is going to be worth. So I'll see you guys back there in just a second. All right, guys, so I went down there. I grabbed some uh, water. I think I found the water tanks, and I think that means that this guy right here may also be a water tank. I'm not sure, though. I think that might be, though. Um, but we filled it up. I don't think we had to pay almost at all. Barely cost us anything, if it cost us anything at all. Um, looks like field 16 is almost done being planted with soybeans. So we're going to drop... Whoa, we went a little bit uh, off a little bit off road there. Uh, we're gonna drop off the remainder of this water. These horses sound very angry. Let me get get them some water. Maybe that'll cheer them up a little bit. Did that, did that fill it up all the way? Yep. Oh wow, they have a lot of. They do not take a lot of water. All right, so we got them all filled up. Let's see who do we got here. This is Duke. Who did we ride earlier? Okay, so it's... Oh, I see now. All right. So it looks like riding is collective for all of them. So once you start riding one of them, I think you're fine uh, all around. We'll find out, though, in a second. We could... There we go. If we double tap it... Whoa, did he hop the gate there? So forward is just canter, which is just, like, slow. This is gallop. Oh, this is awesome. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna gallop all the way over here. Uh, yeah, we got something to go do here. So we're gonna, since we are so close to the ranch, uh, we're just gonna swing by the ranch here and we are gonna go do some obstacles. Uh, I think it's down here. Yes. All right, we'll slow her down. Oh, okay. So we got we got an obstacle course here. Let's see. <laughs> that kind of worked. Hey, we're doing it. Okay, now we're in a gallop. We need to slow down. Oh, jeez. Oh no. All right. Well, we'll have to see if we can do this entire thing. Did there? 
Oh, so daily, daily riding, and then you got uh, this is their fitness right here. So 25% in general. Oh, okay, I see now. All right, guys. Well, I think we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll probably start off doing some more stuff with horses. Uh, we'll probably be doing some more of this stuff actually, because this stuff is not too bad. It's pretty good. Uh, can we go over here? I think we might be able to get in over here. Uh, but yeah, we'll be starting off next episode doing some more stuff with horses, getting their fitness up. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We might get an extra person in here to help us uh, train these horses, get some of their daily riding up just so we can. Yeah, just so we can actually uh, manage to sell these for a bit. Because it's not like you can hire a worker out just to take these around in circles. But I think we might be able to figure something out here soon. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, hit that like button. Let me know that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys got any suggestions or anything. Because I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of going through uh, the base game before like mods get released pretty much. And just trying to see if I can do everything. Uh, I still need to do all the other animals, of course. Um, but that's pretty much, that's something I'm going to do a little bit later on once I figure out some more of the newer stuff. Wow, I don't know. I'm just getting really lost here, guys. I'm just going through... Uh, Looking at all this area, there's so much area here. You can buy this ranch. Oh, I think I got some good ideas coming up here, guys. I think I figured something out. But if you guys are enjoying it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see all you guys in the next Farming Simulator video.